Hello everyone. So within a three hour period today, we had seven people ask about something that was sitting in the Adjustatorium. It's always been here, but they weren't sure what it was. So we're gonna do a quick explanation on my safety pin. Now, if you'll notice, it's almost as big as my hand. So it's really different and weird. But every time you think of a safety pin or you see a safety pin, I want you to think about the safety pin cycle or how the brain body connection works. We have lots of ways to explain chiropractic. This along with one that I'll be doing in a few weeks is my two favorite ways to explain it. Because this is what the kindergartners understand guys. That's why kids get this and gets the big idea of chiropractic and how it is a lifestyle and why you should be adjusted when you're sick versus why you should be staying at home because this is what runs your life. So here's my example. This is your brain. This is your body. Your brain sends messages to your body and then your body takes those messages, does what the brain says, and then sends messages back to the brain to let the brain know I did it. A quick example, the brain and the body. So let's use this is your hand and this is your brain. Your hand touches a hot stove or a hot pot. Those skin cells immediately send messages right to the brain that say, ouch, it's too hot, it's burning me, get your hand off. Well, actually, it doesn't even say that. All it does is send messages back to the brain about what is going on. It's saying it's hot, this hurts, ouch, hot, burning, bad. Your brain then takes those messages and says, kind of, you know, puts them like through the computer, and then says, pull your hand away, pull your hand away, pull your hand away. And that message coming down back to the hand is the thing that makes you go huh, and pull your hand back. That is what is so important. That communication is a perfect safety pin cycle because the messages went to the brain, back into the body, back to the brain. This happens when you put a strawberry in your mouth your tongue immediately tells the brain, ooh, we have a strawberry coming into the stomach. We're gonna need this type of acidity. Your brain then tells your stomach, hey, we have a strawberry coming in. We're gonna need this acidity level. Okay, brain-body connection. The cycle's working. Now what happens when you put in a burger? Well, the brain has to tell the stomach a completely different acidity level to be able to digest protein versus a fruit. So this communication is what you rely on to allow your digestive system to even work in the first place. This is also why we see so many digestive clients and patients in our office. Because one, nobody ever talks about it. So usually if you're a digestive case, you know someone else who's a digestive case and you help us help them, which of course is my favorite thing. If I can help you, who else can I help? But why does it occur? Here's why. When the safety pin cycle is subluxated, subluxations are the thing that I search for, I find, I fix them so that your body can work the way it's supposed to. This is what happens in somebody who has acid issues. Let's talk about the stomach and digestion still. If all of a sudden this is our tongue and we don't have this brain body connection and this is completely broke, it's not working, it's not communicating, when that burger comes into your mouth, the messages never get to the brain. It can't, there's no jump. It's not connected. So the brain's not getting the message of, hey, in comes a protein. So it's never telling the stomach to digest, or I'm sorry, to change the level of acidity so that it can digest the burger. Well, then you put in a strawberry. Well, this message never jumps over. So the stomach is staying at the exact same acidity level the entire time because the brain body connection is not working. My job to make this as simple as possible, my job as a specific chiropractor is to find everywhere in your spine where your brain body connection is misaligned, is not perfect. I find those subluxations, I put the bone back in place so that I can make this connection happen. Honestly guys, I don't help anybody with any symptom. I don't cure migraines. I don't cure acid reflux. I don't cure irritable bowel disease. I don't cure constipation or colicky babies or ear infections. I do none of that. Do you want to know what I do? 
Simple. I find problems where the brain and the body cannot communicate. I line it back up so the brain and the body can communicate. So I don't ever heal you. The doctor inside of you, who is the best doctor in this entire world for you, heals you. You heal yourself when this is fully connected. And that's why chiropractic is a lifestyle. Because once you understand this simple, simple brain-body connection, well, if you're sick and you come into my office and we find two subluxations, when I put them back in alignment, magically, your body functions at a much higher level. They have proven that with a specific adjustment, your immune system boosts over 200%. No supplement can do that. Nothing can achieve that level of a boost to your immune system immediately. Why? Because now the body can talk to each other and it already knows how to fight the bad guys inside of you. It just needed you to remove the problem, which was a miscommunication. Once you have a fully functioning brain body connection, what are you going to notice in your life? You're going to notice you digest better. You're going to notice that you sleep better. You don't need your anti, your anti anxieties or your antidepressants. You magically can go through your cycle normally because of course a period is normal for women. So it shouldn't be this life altering thing that happens for a whole week, every single month. When this occurs, if you do get sick, because it's going to happen, there's things that our bodies can't seem to win against, and you have stressors which lower your immune system. But when you're connected like this, they don't last as long, they're not as severe, you can beat them even faster. Your body is primed and ready to go and heal like it's supposed to. So again, this is the safety pin, and every time you see a safety pin, I want you to think of specific chiropractic care. We're Dr. Amanda Jordan with Family Chiropractic, and if you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you message us so that we know what you would be interested in learning more about with your spine because your health is your responsibility and we exist to help you get your life back.